morning, everybody. We're still pulling this load that we picked up in Lindsay, Nebraska. We're bringing it all the way to Prince Edward Island. We're not gonna make it there today yet. We'll make it there tomorrow. We're gonna get as far as we can. We're in London, Ontario. And we start heading towards Quebec. We've gotta get through Quebec, through New Brunswick, over the bridge into Prince Edward Island. By tomorrow night. done the trip and halfway to Prince Edward Island. It's a four-day trip from Lindsay, Nebraska, all the way up to Mount Albion, Prince Edward Island. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I've driven two full days already. The first day I got to drive most of it with my buddy Moses. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch it. It was a lot of fun. Yesterday we uh, split off near Gary, Indiana, and I made it all the way up here to London, to Canada. So today I'm not sure where we're going to make it to. I'm gonna to try to get through Quebec into New Brunswick. So we gotta go all the way through Southern Ontario, all the way through Southern Quebec, over top of Maine into New Brunswick. That's where I'm kinda of hoping to make it to tonight, but I haven't really looked deeply into it yet, so we'll see what happens. We gotta get about 600 miles done today at least. At least, that's the goal. We wanna surpass that. We have 13 hours available to us to drive, so we have a full day driving ahead of us. Let's get going. Ready to go, I think. Real quick, you guys like my new hat? It's from my good friends at Howes Products. Diesel treatments. Tested, trusted, guaranteed. I got some goodie bags to give away from them. You guys want one? You guys want one of these hats? And a little goodie bag from my friends at Howes? Send me an email, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Don't forget to include your email address if it's different from the one you sent it from and your mailing address. I'm gonna pick a few winners out of all of them and send out a few goodie bags to you guys. If you guys want one, send me an email, truckerjoshvlogs, gmail.com. It's really comfortable, I like it. I love their new logo. Hey, great. All right, lights on. Truck in gear. Window down, just a bit. How's it going? Trailer coming with me. Definitely attached. Brakes work. Brakes release. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have 1,887 kilometers to go. We're talking probably about 1,200 miles. 1,300 miles, somewhere in there. We want to do over a thousand kilometers today. I'd like to do 1100. I don't know where that's going to get me, but. Nice trucks over here. Look at that. get onto this lovely, wonderful highway that everybody loves, everyone. Everyone loves it, everybody knows it. The 401. Toronto, be nice to me. I'm 
I'm just passing through, all right? I'll be gone before you know it. We gotta get through Toronto. I had to take a break. The first on route past Toronto. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. There's not supposed to be so many people on the highway. Where are you all going? Why are you on the road? Go home, barbecue up some burgers. You know, normal Sunday things. What are you doing? There's like thousands, millions on. Just ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> I'm ready to head back out there. Been here for a little while now. Got some stuff done, made some food, had some lunch. And I'm ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go down the road towards Napanee or Lancaster. One of those two flying J's I'm gonna stop at, have a shower and uh, fuel up. And then we'll head into Quebec. I'm looking forward to that. I don't wanna drive too late tonight, but it's gonna, I'm on a kind of a late evening schedule this week anyways. So that is what it is. So yeah, what I was talking about before earlier, in the vlog, my good friends at Howes are doing giveaways. You want a hat like this? Like, look at that logo. That logo is pretty awesome. I love the way they redid that. I think it looks great. You want a hat like this? You want a shirt, maybe a mug or something? A little goodie bag from them anyway? Send me an email, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. All right, make sure that you include an email address we can reach you at if it's not the same one you sent it from. And a mailing address. I'm gonna pick a few out of there. I will send you a goodie bag from House. Everybody knows what House is, right? You've seen it on their shelves. You've seen their diesel treatments on the shelves at every truck stop across Canada and the United States. They've been in business for more than a hundred years. They make, uh, they also make diesel anti-gel. Big, big brand across North America. And they want to give you a little present. So make sure you send me your, ma uh, your mailing address and your email address. Link is down below see if we can get one of these into your hands. I like the way this turned out. I really like this hand. It says the logo on the back. The slogan is tested, trusted, guaranteed. We'll talk more about this in the future. I, I have a whole lot more to say about how's yet. But for now, let's go into Quebec. Quebec. Brush up on my French a little bit. Uh -huh, oui, oui. Croissant. That's about it. Bonjour. I know that. Bonjour. Au revoir. C'est bon. C'est si bon. C'est très bon. Um, je m'appelle Josh. 
Je ne parle pas français. Yesterday, when we fueled in the U.S., just before the border, it was $1.40 Canadian per liter with all the discounts and conversions added in. So it's still $0.28 cents per liter more expensive here. So let's see, in U.S. dollars, real quick, $1.688 CAD to USD. It's $1.25 U.S. per liter. Now we go to our fancy calculator. $1.25 times 3.785. Price of diesel fuel here in US dollars and gallons is $4.73 per gallon US. That's for my American friends. So that's what we're paying here today. Uh, yesterday we paid $3.80, I think, right? I have, it, I have it written down right here. Yesterday in the US, we paid, no, nope, $3.90 US per gallon. So it was $3.90 in the US and it's four, what did I say, $4.73? Yeah, up here. That's, that's the difference that the Canadian, the wonderful, wonderful Canadian taxes add, the, the, the carbon tax. We're making the weather better. Don't worry guys, we got it all under control. Weather should be better by next week. All right, and from Smith's Creek, Michigan, just on the other side of the border from Sarnia, Ontario to here, burned 170 liters, 45 gallons, 32.95 liters per 100 kilometers or 7.14 miles per gallon. That's pretty good. Pretty good. How much did it cost me to get here from there? One second, I have this information. It costs 286.97. Canadian, Canadian dollars. Uh, I always got to clarify. You know, I wish our currency would be called something different so we didn't get them mixed up. There's Canadian dollars and American dollars, but it is what it is. All showered up, clean, feeling good. Leaving Napanee. I have another eight hours and 25 minutes available to me to drive tonight. We'll see how far I get. I'd like to get through Quebec, like I said. I'd like to get into New Brunswick, but. See, and I still have to replace that fan belt. I'm kidding. It's still working. It's just it's a little stretched out. I need to put a new one on there. It squeaks every time it starts.
And you know it's Quebec because of that right there. St. Hubert, or for the rest of the world, St. Hubert. Sort of like a KFC type restaurant, fast food restaurant. I haven't seen it anywhere else but in Quebec. It probably exists, but. Just back here checking our load, making sure we're safe to travel into Quebec. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everything's still there. All my tarps, still there. So it's been a pretty smooth ride, but a lot of traffic. All the way, not just Toronto, all the way up here. Pretty much right to the Quebec border. It seems, seems to be slowing down a little bit now, but now you can still see big clusters of vehicles coming. It's a Sunday, it's late at night. Where are all these people going? <laughs> There's, there was a lot of traffic. Maybe I've just gotten really used to being out on the prairies out west, but maybe I just forgot how many people are actually out here. Oh, good thing he's got his fog lights on. It's a foggy night. Good thing. You know, I'm sure glad he can see where he's going because no one else can. Why do people have those big bright lights on on their bumper? Why do people do that? That guy's got his fog lights on too. They're not as bright, but... A lot of people, like, a lot of people running with their fog lights on. Can any of you explain to me why that's a thing? Personally, that guy too. Personally, I find that so irritating. So irritating, especially when they have aftermarket ones or like a light bar or something really bright and they run down the highway like that. But even just fog lights. Like, the name sort of implies their use, their intended use, right? I got those fog lights on too. Can someone explain to me why everyone runs with their fog lights on out here? On a clear night. Like, you know what doesn't help them see any further? <laughs> you know that. Ah. I don't understand the ways of the world. I just try to be a as little obnoxious as possible. Oh, that guy's got his... Another guy coming. Fog lights. Fog, almost every truck. Strange. Right? Right? Am I just weird? Am I the weird... Am I the weird one? If everybody runs with their fog lights on, and I'm the one saying it's weird. Maybe I'm the weird one. I never run with my fog lights on. It's not foggy outside. I would have my fog lights on. <laughs> they just... Extra light in people's faces. There's a guy just standing back there. We're at the rest area on uh, the far side. The other side, would this be the north side of Quebec City? Here, look at my GPS. That's where we're at here. One second, let me get rid of that. So... There's Quebec City right there. We went just past Quebec City. There's Montreal down there. So I got past the big cities. And I parked at the truck rest area. I'm gonna call it a night here. But for whatever reason, that guy is just like, he's still there. He's just standing back there. What are you doing, bud? There's nothing back there. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> I keep my eye on him for a bit. <laughs> the day is done. I didn't quite make it through Quebec. Well, we did get a thousand kilometers done today. One second, here, one. Oh, actually, 997 kilometers. About a thousand kilometers, about 620 miles. That's far enough for me today. You have one hour and 58 minutes of remaining drive time. Well, I don't need it. It's already really, really late. And I, I can do tomorrow in one day. So tomorrow night we'll be all the way to our uh, our customer. I'm gonna call him in the morning, see if I can park right there. 
And that way I don't have to worry about finding parking. Because I don't know where a truck were to park. Like, is there a truck stop on Prince Edward Island? There's got to be, right? There's got to be truck parking somewhere. I'm just going to ask if I can just go and park right in their yard. I'll get there late tomorrow night. Park right there. We'll wake up there in the morning. They'll unload me. And we'll figure out what we're doing after that. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. So, let me let the government know here that I am stopped. Because they're nosy. They, they like to know what I'm doing all the time. All the time. You know, I have a log page for every day of my life since I started trucking. Well, since I started trucking here, going over the road. So there's 12 years of daily logs of what I've been doing with my life. There's also daily vlogs here on the internet, video logs. So not only am I keeping logs, I'm keeping video logs. So, huh. But these ones are important because they're official. i got to hand these in for the government. What were you doing today, Trucker Josh? I was working. Leave me alone. It's working. Yeah, all that's good. All that's good. Yeah, we'll just punch that in like that. Punch that in like that. There's just a few buttons I got to push. When I first started trucking, it was all paper logs still. I miss those days. Oh, nice. Now it's all... It's easier. Like, e-logs, it's easier. I told you, I don't need it. I don't need it. But, uh... It's way easier now. It's just push of a button and psh, the logs are sent off. And for, like, tax reasons and stuff, uh, like, my mom runs her own accounting business, right? She's been an accountant for over 40 years, so obviously she's my accountant. So all of my logs and stuff for taxes just get emailed straight to her. I don't even have to see my logs. Right now, I just go in here, I say certify, I say certify, that's sort of like giving my okay and my signature on it. And then at the, every three months, just gets sent out there to where it needs to be. Thanks for hanging out with me, though. I know I'm kind of boring, boring you here at the end of my video. That guy is still standing back there. I'm going to make it really awkward for him, and I'm, I'm going to go wander back there and just like act like I'm looking at my truck and checking the tires and just like stare him down a little bit. What are you doing by my trailer? Why are you standing in the middle of the road? It's weird. What are you doing? You're making me uncomfortable. Am I making you uncomfortable too? Go away. Think that'll work on him? Oh, oh, he's, he's on the move. He's on the move. Now he's behind my truck. Weird. People are weird. Okay, well, if you don't hear from me again. <laughs> you know I'm just joking. I'll see you guys tomorrow right here. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video. Don't lie to me. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for the trip into New Brunswick and over the bridge to Prince Edward Island. Take care. Be safe and drive safe.